Joining me at Pitt's side is Hereford's manager Josh Downing. You must be bitterly disappointed because that was a, a really more up-tempo performance from Hereford today. Yeah, good to, we're getting in there. I don't think we deserved to lose the game. Um, but it comes down to two moments, doesn't it, in the game. Um, give the ball away first half in a bad area and they end up scoring just before half time. And then, I mean, I've, I watched the goal back, Jordan stops when they slides the ball across. So I think he just carries on his run, he clears it. So there's two moments. But now for the lads, we're absolutely outstanding. Um, for Evro, uh, James, when he's coming, he's phenomenal, up and down, all game. I thought Kane, that was the best game he's had in, in, in a half for sure. And, and all around, I thought we were absolutely outstanding. We pressed well. You know, look, that's how we want to play. Um, we've not been able to do that because of obviously the personnel we've had. So we've had to be a bit more reserved and sit in and probably be a bit boring at times, which we don't want to play. I, I want to be on the front foot and we, we certainly were that today. Certainly, I think the crowd enjoyed, especially that first 45 minutes. And uh, Jack Holmes got man of the match, very, very busy out there. Yeah, um, Jack played Wednesday um, in the County Cup, and, and I think it, it gave him a lot of confidence. You know, we spoke with him about playing one or two touch at times, and he did do that well. And, and then in moments, also he dribbled and took his men on. So I thought he was he, he was outstanding. He pressed well as well. He, he worked hard, and and, and and that's what you want. But you know, we're we bitterly disappointed. I mean, there, what they're point off top. Um, you would not think that after today's performance, but you know we're yeah we're good. What Darlington did show is the ability though to change tactics in the game to make it really scratchy, patchy, uh, take time out of the game after they got into the lead. So for me, it was a smash and grab win. Yeah, well, it's just time wasting, wasn't it? And then it went to this went to five at the back and just tried to show up shot, which they did. And, and you know what? Even within that, we still had opportunities. Like Aaron had one. He probably goes with his left. He probably scores, and we've had another a couple of opportunities. So we just. Yeah, it, we just didn't get it in the back of the net. It wasn't our day today, but I just think, you know, for us, looking at the last four games we've played, um, we've not played well. Just, just it, it's not been like us. It's been very lethargic. We haven't played much football, and you know, first thing first was, you know, saying to the lads, we need to be entertaining, get on the ball, and start playing. So, you know, and when you start playing like that, like we did today, we're going to win games of football. That's for sure. What did you tell them? Because it was, the transformation was, you know, just staggering. Really, it was a lot more tempo. A lot more passion, a lot more energy. Um, what 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 was the the trigger? Well, there was no trigger. I mean, we've we brought in a fullback. We had Jack Evans back. We played the last two games with no fullbacks, so you know we gave other lads rests. So you know, obviously we we, we brought Luke, dropped Luke down. We brought Aaron up top. We've got obviously James in. Jack's back. Kane's back. It's just bodies. You know, we've needed bodies. We've we've had ten out of fifteen now. On I was fourteen before today on the road. We've had a big FA Cup run, which is, you know, makes the lads tired. We've had 12 injuries in the squad. Seven of them will probably start. And, and the reality is we've got a few bodies back. And because we've got a few bodies back, means it gives us more energy, means we can be a bit more on the front foot and play how we want to play. So, look, I know the fans are disappointed and, you know, I'm more disappointed than everyone else um, over the last kind of couple of weeks with, with, with the forms we've had. But we've had, to, we've had to be like that, you know, and, and we've sat in and been solid before that and, and won games. And unfortunately, the last, the last four before today, we, it was just a bit too far for us. But no, we, we've got back to basics today, pressing, working hard, getting on the front foot, getting on the ball, playing, and, and, and I hope the fans enjoyed it. I think it shows how much you rely on, on attacking wing-backs to come in. So, uh, Mal Harder, how did you feel he played on his debut today? Yeah, I thought it was excellent. If uh, people remember him, he played here last year uh, for Telford. He gets up and down well, you know, he's willing to take a man on, and he gives us that, that natural width like Jack on the opposite side, and it, it makes such a, it's such, a dif such a difference. I mean, we had Jordan before, didn't we? And then obviously we brought someone in on trial on, on, on Saturday as well, and, you know, those fullbacks make such a difference to our patterns because it means our wide players can then have a bit of freedom to roll inside, go out, because they know someone's going to overlap or underlap. So it made a massive difference for us today. Uh, crowd held up pretty well, considering uh, the results recently, and must be encouraged by that. Look, our fans are brilliant. I think it was 1700 today, and that 1700 sang from kickoff all the way through the game, stood and clapped us off. And you look, it's football. You don't win games, people aren't happy. I, I get it, you know, especially when you've not played well. So I, I completely understand um, how they've been over the last couple of weeks because it, it's been a bit tramp. And I, I, me more than myself, I'm going and watching the game thinking it's not a, lot to, it's not a lot to watch here. But today it was good. I, I just found they, they, they kicked us on. I think Tuesday, because we didn't play well Tuesday, we just got nervy and, and obviously the fans were on our back, rightly so, and, and we got booed off at the end, rightly so, because of the performance, but it made some of the young lads a bit nervous. And today, they got behind us, they supported us, they pushed us on the whole game, and it just gave the lads such confidence. I mean, they've scored just before half-time, and we've come in at half-time, and the lads were ready to go again. Um, and then we've come out and, and the fans are at us again, cheering us on, even when they scored, they, you know, they, they kept our momentum going, so, you know, we, we just... 
What about performances for them? And finally, Amadi Holloway up top, a rare opportunity for him to play as a centre forward. Uh, how do you feel he played today? Yeah, he occupies, doesn't he? I think that's the big thing. He occupies centre halves, which enables the likes of obviously Harry Kane and, and our two wide men to then, then get joined behind and, and he links up well. So, look, he, he came in as a nine. Uh, the injuries we had were the reason why he ended up playing at centre half. Then he did well at centre half, so you can't move him. So, um, but obviously, losing games, we needed to, to, to jig things around. I, I think Ty needs a rest, needed a rest which is why he's come out today and we brought him on at the end and I thought Adam, Adam was excellent on top.